Good evening and welcome to North Beat. I'm Randy Henderson. We begin tonight in Atlin, British Columbia, where people are celebrating Earth Day this year with a renewed sense of environmental stewardship. The town is no longer dependent upon diesel generators for its power supply. The community of 400 is now powered entirely by a hydroelectric plant owned and operated by the First Nation citizens of Atlin. Vikaschenko reports. Atlin has always been a quiet little town, famous for its panoramic mountain vistas and unspoiled environment. And Atlin just got a lot quieter. The diesel generators at the town power plant are shut down. New power lines strung into town now hum with clean, green, hydroelectric power. The new power station was put online April 1st. And it's been running good since on it. Uh, I find no blips with it. Uh, the walk-arounds are all good, so, yeah. The new system will save the town an estimated 3,300 liters of diesel fuel per day and hundreds of tons of greenhouse gases. The crystal clear waters of Pine Creek now power the town through an environmentally friendly run-of-the-river hydro system. This is a, such a beautiful project uh, in that we, we have a uh, tremendous uh, creek here that has uh, good flows. Uh, we're using about 15% of the flows right now that are available for, for energy production. We, um, you know, at peak capacity, we might get up to 40% of the flows that are available. Um, and we could actually twin the penstock. There's so much water that's available. We could twin the penstock and double the generation capacity. The local Taku Clinket First Nation owns 100% of the power plant. It reaffirms them as stewards of the land. It is walking our talk, so it's the beginning. Hopefully, we'll see more of these types of projects that are environmentally sustainable. Yeah, the support in the community of Atlin has just been phenomenal, uh, and and I think you'd be hard pressed if anybody even wanted to look for somebody who didn't like this project. Oh, it's fantastic! Great. Yeah. You don't hear the generators running anymore. You don't have to smell the diesel or waste diesel. And it's uh, quiet, employed a bunch of people. It was a good project. Now hopefully we don't have to run the generators again. The $14 million project is heavily mortgaged, but operators say a 25-year sales agreement with BC Hydro and the prospect of additional sales to nearby mines ensures the plant will pay dividends to the First Nation owners for generations to come. Vikas Jango, CBC News, Atlin, British Columbia.